Hi guys. So today we are going to be doing a song review because that's been highly requested recently. I had a poll and that was the, I got 100% to do a video, a song review. So that's what I'm going to do today. But it's not quite the way that you're thinking. Today I'm going to be asking ChatGPT, which if you don't know, it's an AI thing that writes whatever you ask it to. So I'm going to ask it to write me a biblical hymn. And then I'm going to review what it writes for me right on the spot. Um, and then I, I've got my Bible here. This isn't my Bible that I use regularly. I just got a Reformation Study Bible, um, which I love. But I don't know my way around it very well yet. And I know this one pretty well because I've had it for years and years. The only problem with it is, this is embarrassing. The first part of Ephesians is missing. The first few chapters, I, I I guess I marked it up so much that the page came loose. So then I was just carrying it around in my Bible. And then it fell out somewhere along the way. I don't know where. I don't know where it went. I was very devastated. But I got my new one and I love it. But that's enough of a side story. So let's get started. I'm going to type it in now. Write me a biblical hymn. Okay, it's typing. Hey, looks pretty good so far, honestly. Let's see, it's on it's right on verse two. Write a chorus now, verse three, chorus. I might have to have somebody put this to uh to a song if if it's good. I have a friend who actually writes a lot of music and she has her own Spotify. I'll put her name up here, you can look her up. She's pretty good. She's pretty good. Oh my, seven verses so far. Okay, here we go. Let me go up to the top so we can start reviewing it. Verse one, in ancient days, a promise given, a sacred word from heaven above, a covenant of grace unbroken, foretelling of a savior's love. Hey, that's pretty good. It reminds me of in Genesis where Adam and Eve, they sinned, but there was a covenant given to them of a, a savior who would come and love them and die for them. Okay, so let's see. The chorus is, oh, let us sing a hymn of old, the story of redemption told. With joyful hearts, our voices raised to honor God in endless praise. That's good too. Uh, sing a hymn of old. Psalms are a lot of old hymns. Story of redemption, seen throughout the Bible. That's the, the covenant of grace. There's two covenants, the covenant of works, which is what Adam was um that's what he was told in the garden to obey god perfectly but he broke that so god made a new covenant with him the covenant of grace which is never broken and you can follow it all the way through the bible um and we are to honor god and then let's praise For voice oh my gosh verse two from jesse's line a shot emerging a king of kings a humble birth emmanuel god with us dwelling bringing hope to all the earth from Jesse's line. Jesus did came from, come from Jesse's line. We can see that throughout the genealogies. Um, sorry, my computer just got unplugged. Um, and Luke, you can see the geneal genealogy, which starts with Adam and ends with Christ. And you can see he is from Jesse's line. The King of Kings, we know that King of Kings, Lord of Lord, a humble birth, in the stable. Um, and he brought he brought hope to all the all the earth, which is kind of true. He brought hope to all of his children and all of the earth throughout all of time, but not every single person in the earth. This seems more like a Christmas song to me. Um, so the chorus, let us sing a hymn of old with a story of redemption told. With the joyful hearts, our voices raised to honor God in endless praise. Yes. Joyful heart, joyful worship. Verse 3. The Son of God in manger sleeping, a star above, a guiding light. Wise men traveled from afar to witness the holy sight. Pretty basic. The Christmas story, we, we know that. Um, so yeah, this is sounding a lot like a Christmas song to me, and I'm actually liking it. I'm surprised. This, this guy, chat GPT, I'm impressed. Chorus. Oh, let us sing a hymn of old, the story of redemption told, joyful hearts and voices raised to honor God and endless praise. That's pretty good. Verse four. In Nazareth, a humble servant, Jesus taught of love and grace. He healed the sick and gave them sight and brought salvation to our race. Pretty good. He was a Nazareth. He was a humble servant. 
He taught of love and grace, but he also taught of justice and of wrath and of his redemption for our race, which is the spiritual Israel. It's no longer the physical Israel. It's the spiritual Israel. You can read about that in Romans 9 through about Romans 12, I believe. And you can see Israel, the country, is no longer God's promised children, only it's his spiritual Israel, which is all of his elect. Um, so the invisible church, the spiritual church. And then the chorus again, which we've already covered. Verse 5, upon a cross, the Lamb of God, for all our sins, he freely gave, but death could not contain his glory, for he rose triumphant from the grave. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> upon the cross, the Lamb of God, for all our sins he freely gave, but death could not contain his glory, for he arose triumphant from the grave. That is very profound, very true. For all our sins, he freely gave of his life for all of his children's sin, but death could not contain him because he rose on the third day. Um, then they have the chorus again. Verse 6. Now let us follow in his footsteps to love our neighbors as ourselves and share the gospel with all the nations till every heart and worship swells. Hey, that's great. That's a great commission. This is the story of Christ. The song is, it starts with Christmas, it goes to Easter, to the great commission. We'll see how it ends. Um, share the gospel with all nations. That is, that is our longing is to see every heart and worship swelling. Then they have the chorus again, which is, Oh, let us sing a hymn of old, the story of redemption told. With joyful hearts, our voices raised to honor God in endless praise. Verse 7. When earthly days draw to a close, and we are called to heaven's shore, we'll join the angels and saints to sing of love forevermore. And that, that is beautiful. When our earthly days are done, when they draw to a close, us Christians... We're going to go join the angels and the saints and sing of Christ's love forever and of God the Father's love and the Spirit's love forever. And that's what we're living for. It's for that day when we see our Father face to face. Um, then they have the chorus again. Um, oh, let us sing a hymn of old, the story of redemption told. With joyful hearts, our voices raised to honor God in endless praise. Then it has a little end here. May this hymn inspire hearts and uplift spirits of worship and reflection on the biblical story of redemption and God's endless love. Hey, that was good. That was a good song. I'm actually really impressed with that. I, it looks like this one may need to be put to music. So if any of you who watch this channel are musicians and feel confident in writing songs, please do. And then send it to me because I would love to hear this in music. Um, I'm really impressed with this. Um, I didn't even have to use my Bible for a proof for any of it um, because it was so well written and very, very biblical. It starts with it starts with Adam, Adam's sin, where it talks about promise given, the sacred word from heaven above, the covenant of grace, the foretelling of the Savior's love, which is Genesis 3. We can see there's an escape for the people down to the end where it says, and we're going to join the saints of old. Um, whenever we go to heaven and how great is that how great what, what a great song I would love to hear this song um, so that concludes my song review for today I'll do another one I'm a hymn at some point I saw Lauren Nagel um, release a new album which I've been listening to and right now I'm going to give you a little bit of a preview of what I think of it I love Lauren Nagel I know she's not the best. She doesn't have good theology and she has some iffy views on things. But I do like her music a lot. So, yeah, the new album is her first one, which she titles is not all the way Christian, which is true. And there's some of the songs in there, I'm like, oh, it's got a good beat, but the words aren't completely biblically based, but they aren't like sinfully bad. They're, they're good. It's a good. They're good songs, but just not very theologically good. So... <laughs> Maybe I'll do a song review on her untitled album, or her self-titled album. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to be posting a lot over the summer because I don't have any plans. I'm going to camp one week, and then we have a sports camp at my church. I'm actually going to go take my test to get my driver's license this Friday, so pray that goes well. Um, so that that's pretty much it. 
Um, I will, if you have, I'm kind of confused on what to do on here. So if you have any ideas, please comment them. I, I, if you remember, I talked about doing an overview of the Psalms um, in my Welcome to the Channel video, which I am going to do, but I'm going to wait to do that until school year because part of challenge four is doing an in-depth study of the Psalms. So that will give me a little more insight, a lot more insight, so I can share that with you better than if I just did it now on my own. So that's it for this video. Let me see, let me know what you thought of the ChatGPT hymn. I approve. Let me know if you do. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.